and the fields of Manaway soybeans begin to make their way out of the dirt, where farmers were fortunate enough to get their crops planted in between downpours. It's been a really tough spring. We were two weeks late on two to three weeks late, which doesn't sound like a lot, but in uh, growing terms, you can lose 10% of your crop just by being that late in planting. Whether just one of the W's impacting things, the other... Washington, a third of all Ohio soybeans, used to be exported directly to China, a market that dried up in a trade war started last summer. As a result, everything we plant right now, every seed we put in the ground, we're taking a loss on right now. We can't sell our product for the prices and, and come out on top. The Sarahs have relied on their other businesses, crop dusting foremost among them, to help subsidize their farming losses. The White House unveiled last week $16 billion in subsidies to help farmers, but Sarah says that most of that money will go, as most subsidies do, to the large corporate farms. Subsidies are tough. They look good in the news. They, they, they make the politicians feel good about themselves for helping. But your family operations, your few hundred acre growers, those subsidies are not enough to help the loss that we've sustained by the bad markets. We need better markets. In the meantime, they plan in hopes that come harvest time in the fall, the trade war will be settled. And this market will have turned around. Farmers right now are living off their equity. They're living off their grandparents' money, their parents' money, and bankers aren't going to go for that much longer. In Manaway, John Kasich, News 5.